Pops. Welcome back to Pup Coppa Games. And have, for those of you in the U.S., happy Turkey Day. And we have a lot to be thankful for since Update 5 just dropped to early access on Tuesday. So, yeah, the stuff you've seen me playing, been seeing me, me and other play, uh, people play with, has now come to early access for everybody to enjoy. And it's in theory stable. And in theory, they've fixed truck fuel loading for the eighth time. We'll see if that sticks. Alright, so, uh, I'm, I'm here in our base, you know, is what it is. And if I just pan over here, you'll start noticing some differences, like back there, we're missing storage containers. And I took out some awesome sinks. And there's some conveyors over there. And, if I just come over here, there's a big honkin' building here. Yeah! So, one of the things that I wanted to do was I wanted to build a, an updated shopping mall that would last us through the remaining portion of the game, give us some flexibility and have some stored. So, I went ahead and used some of the Update 5 things, like the conveyor holes in the ceiling, to make this nice setup. Now, the way I do shopping malls is I have a single belt, like with a theme of items, like in this case, this is all the copper products, and they come in, they go through a series of smart splitters, and if it's something that can't, it doesn't have a split rule, or if all of these are all full up and there's nothing to do, it just goes up and winds its way over to a bank of awesome sinks over here and while this may be a little bit excessive to prevent things from being overloaded uh because right now we're still limited to mark three bells so that has a maximum capacity of 230 hours per minute uh i built a whole bunch of awesome sinks here i think there are eight of them and that also gives us some kind of some flexibility for the future because not all the park lines have been built yet. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we're just this is just gonna basically be, you know, anything that doesn't get stored away is just gonna be farmed for coupons. And basically the way I went about uh, setting up this mall is that we have space built out for everything we can produce right now. So, you know, basically all the basic iron parts, all the basic copper parts or concrete, steel parts, motors, and case beams, and our uh, backlog of space elevator parts. <sighs> Although, I, I was starting to think of what I wanted to do for today, and I was thinking that we could build out our, rebuild the quartz factory because <laughs> When Jace was talking about, hey, caves are getting an update. Look at this cave, isn't it great? You better not have a ca uh, factory in your cave. Why do you have a factory in this cave? I thought it was the cave with the with the quartz crystals that we had been using for a while. And it turned out not to be, so I dismantled that factory. And we need to rebuild that at some point. And I was thinking about doing that on camera today, but Thinking about it, thinking about things uh, more in depth, I realized that my original plan for this facility right here, so this is going to be, you know, everything we can make now, then up here there's a uh, floor with belts and stuff like that that's hidden, that will be hidden away, and then on top of that it's going to be the more advanced part source, like computers, supercomputers, turbo motors! All right. That was my best kids impression. I, 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 I can't. Um, and you know, thing, the more uh, more advanced things we'll get into in tier tiers, uh, tier seven and eight, and then somewhere like on top of that or whatever would be a space elevator part production facility that would feed into the space elevator, and it would just siphon off the parts that come into the storage mall. I thought about that, 
I thought about that hard. And I decided that I'm not going to do that, or at least I'm not going to do it to the scale that I was thinking about doing it. What I think I'll do is I will build a part of space elevator part facility. Excuse me, still waking up here. In the oh, that's a good question. Yeah. I'm going to build a space part, a space elevator parts facility for smart plates, auto wire, and versatile frames over in the, uh, whatchamacallit, the green fields biome. And when we unlock trains, we'll just start importing all that stuff over. And, you know, it'll go into storage bins or it'll go up into, to feed our, uh, modular engine and adaptive control production. Because, ultimately, we do need to keep space elevator part production automated. Uh, I learned that the hard way in a couple of other saves because, you know, every time, like clockwork, that I break through to modular frames and adaptive controls, I just do what I, the production I need to do, and I dismantle everything. And with the new parts that are in they're the final phase of Project Assembly, so the assembly director, the magnetic rocket thingies, uh, other stuff. They they have dependencies on the modular engines and the adaptive controls, so you need want to keep that mo uh, you want to keep that uh, automated. Now, what I'm thinking is maybe we'll keep the uh, modular engines and the adaptive controls automated here up top because those are just going to be a handful of manufacturers. And ultimately, we do need to siphon off like heavy modular frames and computers for that. But that's pretty easy and in pretty low volumes. But we need to kind of produce auto wire and uh, whatchamacallit. <laughs> I can't think this morning. I haven't had any. Uh, I, 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 I haven't had. I, I don't know. I guess I haven't had enough coffee yet. Uh, but. What we need to do is we need to produce some bulk auto uh, things like auto wire, versatile frames, frameworks, and uh, and smart plates. And I just spent all the smart plate production over here, so now that's just producing rotors and reinforced plates for us. So that's that's fine. And this is kind of the, the here you can see the floor that's just going to be belt work, hidden belt work to make things easier because. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. But to go back to what I was talking about, about my lessons learned on shopping malls, is that the shopping mall I built, if you watch the Alternative Recipes video, uh, the I have a big shopping mall in that, at my main base in that save, and the belt work is just horrendous inside the shopping mall, and it's really difficult for me to get around. I've stored everything, and things get flushed out nicely, it's just the belt work is horrible, and I just, it's spaghetti. It is absolute ugly, ugly, ugly spaghetti. So, yeah. <laughs> Here, I decided that since, you know, we have the nice little floor hole connectors, which just punch through the ceilings, and we've got both of their belt walls. By the way, look, look at the texture I did for the walls. That's cool, right? Yeah, it's neat. Uh, yeah, so... I decided to put the belt, all the belt work into, all the incoming and outgoing belt work that I needed to into this separate floor, and then it'll be roped off, and you know, when we build out the next floor, I'll just kind of layer the belt work on top of this, and then, yeah. But yeah, I mean, look, look at this. It's, it's just nice and neat, and items are flowing up and out. It's great. I mean, I can just sit here and watch this all day. I'm not, but we've got things to do. All right, so what do we want to do here? All right, so I think, so we, fundamentally, we don't need a huge number of smart plates, I think. So let's just, I think, I think today we're just going to start out building out the smart plate production line. And we're going to aim for four smart plates per minute because that's what we could easily get with 
one some were producing play or three fourths plates and one some were producing uh whatchamacallits rotors. I can't I, I just can't this one. And then the next video after that we'll be building the versatile frameworks auto and auto wire on top of that and then we'll worry about how to get that back. Now let's go here. So we're going to need four assemblers, four, okay. And let's see, uh, I've got a loose guide over here that we use to do our initial setup. So that's one, two, four. some of this belt work over here because now that we did or got away with or did away with our original our OG shopping mall we can we can do something better here and I also want to come in here eventually and this will probably be off camera I want to put in the signs that we've got an update for just because it's gonna make it easier to know what is where inside the factory. All right, so I got the parts we needed, and we're just kind of gonna leave this behind. Uh, we'll take the express tube over to, the, to our oil facility, and then from there, we'll head down. So we're here at the oil facility, and I just realized that I did not have my mic, like, anywhere near me <laughs> up till now. So, yeah, I apologize for that. So we're just going to build out power lines all the way down the coast here. Nice leisurely stroll. We're here. Hi, buddy. Let's 
so let's see. I believe this is the plateau I was looking for. Yep, there's one pure iron node. Uh, there should be a second over here, I believe. Here, let's just do this. Oh, that's a little disconcerting. I should be two here. Ah, there it is. It was hidden. Oh, right. I don't have any miners on me. Okay. And, yeah, and there's a uh, copper over there, some pure, or pure copper over there, and some, uh, whatchamacallit, limestone somewhere over here. Alright, so. Let's get started building. Uh, I want my chainsaw. Okay, well, guess we need to do stuff. Alright, I'm just gonna put a storage container over here to the side, just so we can have something to work with. So we got some miners. And this is just going to be like the standard thing here that we do. There we go. There's a miner. Miner. And I believe the other. Go. So we've got three miner, three miners down. That's great, and that means that we can now just start. I'm only going to try and get rid of some of the large trees because we don't need to get rid of the small stuff. The large trees are kind of a problem. This may be okay over here. Well, actually, I do need that. Alright, so let's see. So, one of the new features that, uh, that was introduced in Update 5 is, you know, the so-called world grid, and it's actually kind of neat, because if you hit control when you have, like, a foundation selector, uh, it'll orient like this, and, yeah, it, so if you do this, if you hit control anywhere on the map, you know, in theory, you could connect distant factories, and they'd be, like, at the same at the same alignment, which is nice. And 
then in here, I'm gonna just zoop things. There we go. Even though the zooping isn't as powerful as Smart Mod, it's still really handy. Great. Mm. Here now we'll just select vertical zooping. Give this like some semblance of structural integrity. Well, now. Tell you what, why don't we just do this? We'll just put the catwalk stairs. I like these a little bit better than the other stairs. And we'll zoop these. Great, we have an easy way up into the base. And then this ensures we won't fall. I think I'm just going to add on a couple more. Rows. Alright, I think that does it. Now what we'll do is we'll have... Uh, one of these come up and it'll just yeah it'll just do its thing and we should have plenty of space now to do this so I'm gonna build another little tower here So, how do I want to do this? Well, first off, let's just... Organization... Walls. I keep forgetting... So we're going to split this into a 120 line because that's a pure node. It's going to come out as a, as a 240. Uh, we'll want to split that into two 120 lines. And then that will like go to something else. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Well, now this is in the way.
Yes, I know I have that the lookout tower on my hotbar. All right, now we take this 120 line and we split into two 60 lines. Uh, so now and then this little splitter should split into two 30 lines I'm just gonna give myself enough space there to put splitters in in other places So these two constructors are going to be for plates. All right. Now we need thirty. Pl we're going to be needing thirty plates for our reinforced plates. And this is going to give us a total of 40. So what we'll do is this guy will be split in two. We'll merge it onto this one. And then the excess will be routed out. Now we're gonna do the screws, so so let's see. Re we're just gonna use the for this. We're just gonna use the vanilla recipe, so. We need 30 iron plates, which is what we've got, and 60 screws. Now, to make the math on the screw setup work nicely, all right, so. screw we're gonna set these all to 40 so it should only consume 30 iron in total there we go I know this is really basic. Oh, why am I doing that? <laughs> oh, too early. Splitter.
I know there's a lot of dead space here, so it's not like a super compact build, but I think this just is better because you know where everything's going very clearly. Alright, so now we've got our screws. All right, now we're gonna, so each of these are producing 40 screws, so we have 120 in total. And we're just gonna merge this together. There we go. So now the reinforced plates are load balanced. for so all right so let's see regular rotor we need a hundred screws and 20 rods that's easy because we can just underclock some some constructors here so what we'll do is, well, not that. There we go. Three. Okay, so this is going to be another constructor at 40. And this will merge with output from these to be a hundred screws per minute which is what we need for the rotor production and to make this all balanced we're just going to do rods and we're going to set it at 10 since we only need 20 rods per minute there we go Not mean to select that. There we go, we got that. And both these are 20. Oh, I selected the wrong thing. Rod. And that's 10. And yeah, that's at 40. Okay, cool. So we should have balanced production now. Got to hunt for all the iron. And then we'll just funnel these. You know, the more I think about it, the more this may be a case where it's just easier to... overclock one assembler. So we'll do that in a minute. Although it would be less power intensive to have two of them, so yeah. <laughs> that is not something I intended to have happen. And 
And that was not so they intended either. I'm just not able to do this this morning, am I? <laughs> There we go. This is all set up here. Uh. Yeah, just in terms of space. It's not as power efficient, but we're at a point where power is not a huge concern. Power, you know, there's there's a point in the mid game where power becomes pretty trivial. It's important in the late game and the early game. There we go. And this is going to be a smart plate at 200%. Uh, smart square. Now the reason I'm putting in a smart splitter it here is that we're going to have one extra iron reinforced iron plate per minute, and we're also going to have some uh, some of these guys, some of these iron plates. They're extra, so it just makes sense to get rid of them when they before they become a problem. And for right now, since we don't really need them, we're just going to sink the uh... We're just going to sink the, uh, the reinforced plates. You know, it'll be a nice little set of coupon points. And we're going to just start hooking things up here.
So far, so good, actually. Uh, that needs to be iron. Iron. And that's a problem because it's supposed to be a 60 belt. Or a 120 belt. There we go. Now, now this is more consistent. Starting to build up. There, there the screws go. There they go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we've got a balanced smart plate set up, producing four smart plates per minute, and then we'll just stack the auto wire and versatile framework sections up above, and then everything will consolidate onto one line for transport over to our oil facility, where it will be transloaded onto a another truck that goes back to base, and then later on when we have trains, we'll just rip, rip all the trucks out and replace them with trains. So. Yeah, that does it for today. So, uh, yeah, uh, please pull that, uh, if you like this, pull that like button and boot that subscribe button so you don't miss out from video, more videos from me, Pup Copper. And please comment, comment below. Uh, it helps me improve my videos and helps me know kind of what you guys want to see. And yeah, see you guys next time. Arr